Hi students, welcome to Sunil's tutorial. I'm Sunil Mirwani and today we'll be doing this chapter called as radiation. Take on the sum please. Now copper sphere, now copper sphere of 0.1 meter in diameter, a copper sphere of 0.1 meter in diameter is coated with lamp black it is maintained at a temperature it is maintained at a temperature of 240 degrees celsius it is maintained at a temperature of 240 degrees celsius How much energy? How much energy will it will it radiate? How much energy will it radiate in 120 seconds? If Stephen's constant is 5.7 into 10 raised to minus 8 joules per meter square second Kelvin volt. Now guys, I can say for a black body What is the energy radiated per unit time per unit area? That's the emissive power for a black body. The emissive power of the black body is nothing but sigma into T4. Right? Therefore I can say that this is the energy radiated per unit area. per unit time that's your MSF power therefore I can say that the total energy radiated the total energy radiation radiated should be MSF power per unit area so you multiply by area per unit time so you multiply it by time now since the body is in the form of a sphere the, sur the area of the sphere will be or uh, surface area of the sphere will be pi r square you have to only consider one face of the sphere uh, one face of the sphere so this is going to be ev pi r square t fine do we get this thing here now i can substitute the value of ev ev is nothing but sigma t4 so sigma t4 pi r square t so that will be the total energy radiated. Next, let's move on to the next sum, guys. Next, calculate the energy. The answer for that sum, I just give you. The answer for that sum should be one four eight nine zero joules. Next, take on next sum, please. Calculate the energy radiated. Calculate the energy radiated by a black body of area three hundred centimeter square of area three hundred centimeter square. in 5 minutes in 5 minutes if it is maintained at if it is maintained at 
227 डिग्री सेल्सियस इफ इट इज मेंटेन एट 227 डिग्री सेल्सियस व्हिच इज नथिंग बट 500 केल्विन गिवन दैट स्टीफेंस कांस्टेंट is 5.7 into 10 raise to minus 8 SI units <coughs> guys I have already shown you the explanation of the formula in the previous sum here I will directly write the formula I can therefore say that straight away total energy radiated is nothing but Eb into pi r square t which is nothing but sigma t4 pi r square t why it is this way I have already explained to you in the previous sum I am not explaining to you again all you have to do is just substitute the values and get the answer the answer for this should be 32063 joules 32063 joules next calculate the heat energy radiated calculate the heat energy radiated calculate the heat energy radiated in 4 minutes by a hot solid by a hot solid of surface area by a hot solid of surface area 60 centimeter square If its emissive power, if its emissive power is 0 0.7 kilocalorie per meter square second, Now this is not a black body so it will be just emissive power into area into time right I presume all the three parameters are given to you you can directly find the answer the answer for this should be 1.008 kilocalories next a copper sphere A copper sphere has an area. A copper sphere has an area of 3.142 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter square. And its emissivity. And its emissivity. Of 0 0.018 find the total energy lost by the sphere per second find the total energy lost by the sphere per second when its temperature when its temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. Given that Stephen's constant is 5.67 into 10 raised to minus 8 SI units. Now, guys, the energy 
एनर्जी रेडिएटेड पर यूनिट एरिया पर यूनिट सेकेंड गाइस अंडरस्टैंड दिस दिस इज नॉट अ ब्लैक बॉडी सो दैट विल बी ई विल बी नथिंग बट into sigma t4 they have given you the emissivity right therefore i can say that total and energy radiated per second is energy radiated per unit area per unit time into area now area is going to be nothing but your pi r no they give you the area yes they directly give you the area you don't need to do pi r square so your answer will be emissivity stevens constant t4 into area you should get your answer the answer for this should be 0.6207 joules per second next take on next of these Calculate the heat radiated. Calculate the heat radiated Calculate the heat radiated in half a minute. Calculate the heat radiated in half a minute by a copper sphere. by a copper sphere of radius by a copper sphere of radius 6 cm if it is maintained at if it is maintained at 200 degrees celsius the coefficient of emission the coefficient of emission is 0.6 and stevens constant and stevens constant is 5.7 into 10 raised to minus 8 si units now same like your previous same appear same like your previous some heat energy radiated per unit area per unit time is going to be nothing but e which will be e sigma t4 right once you have this what are they ask you to find out uh, calculate the heat energy radiated they have asked you to find out the total heat energy total heat energy is nothing but e into area into time e is nothing but e sigma t4 area as they given you no so pi r square into t substitute all the values you should get your answer the answer for this should be 2324 joules next let's see the next one guys a metal sphere a metal sphere of radius 10 cm a metal sphere of radius 10 cm emits Emits 
zero point six kilocalories in eighty seconds. Find the emissive power. Find the emissive power of the surface. Right, so in that case, your emissive power of the surface will be heat emitted per unit area per unit time. Heat emitted per unit area per unit time. Heat emitted. Heat emitted is going to be directly given to you per unit area per unit time. So just divide the two. You should get this area. So this is heat emitted per unit area. That's your four pi r square into time. And The rate of fall of temperature. The rate of fall of temperature. The rate of fall of temperature due to radiation of a metal sphere. The rate of fall of temperature of radiation of a metal sphere of thermal capacity of thermal capacity is six point five. Calories per degree Celsius. Is is zero point five degree Celsius per minute. When the temperature of the surface, when the temperature of the surface is 50 degrees Celsius, the diameter of the sphere. Is three centimeters. The diameter of the sphere is three centimeters. Calculate the emissive power of the surface of the sphere. Calculate the emissive power of the surface of the sphere. The 
guys can miss his power. He is nothing but as per definition heat emitted per unit area per unit time. Right? Now the heat emitted will be the heat capacity multiplied by the fall into temperature. Heat emitted is the heat capacity <coughs> into falling temperature <coughs> area 4 pi r square into time. Time is given to you per unit uh, per unit area per unit time. So the time has to be uh, fall in temperature is given to you as 0 0.5 degrees Celsius per minute. So time has to be 1 minute. Where time is 1 minute, which is nothing but 60 seconds. So I have heat capacity, I have fall in temperature, I have radius, and I have time. I should be able to find out the answer for this, guys. The answer for this should be 19.17 calories per second meter square. Next, take down next one please. Stephen's constant is 5.7 into 10 raised to minus 8 joules per meter square second Kelvin 4. And the black body radiates 1 kilowatt of energy per unit area. Find its temperature. Mm -hmm. Find its temperature. I can say that for a black body, Q is equal to sigma T raised to 4. Right? So therefore, I can say that T is Q upon sigma the whole raised to 1 by 4 right you have Q, you have sigma, you have to find out the fourth power of it you should be able to get the answer, the answer for this should be 363.9 Kelvin next take down next one please A filament of an evacuated light bulb. A filament of an evacuated light bulb has a length of ten centimeters and a diameter of 0 0.2 millimeters <laughs> calculate the power it radiates at 2000 Kelvin If its emissivity is 0 0.2 and Stephen's constant is 5.67 into 10 raised to minus 8 SI units.
have asked you to find out the power it radiates. Power radiated. Power radiated is nothing but the energy radiated. Power is nothing but the capacity to do work. Power is nothing but work upon time. Hence, and work is nothing but energy. So therefore, I can say that power radiated is nothing but energy radiated per second. Right? Energy radiated per second is nothing but E emissive power into area. Emissive power is nothing but since this is not a black body, is nothing but emissivity into Stephen's constant into T raised to 4 area. Now, since you are considering a wire, a wire is in the form of a cylinder, the area, surface area of a wire is going to be nothing but 2 pi RL. You have all the values now, you should be able to substitute and get the answer. The answer for this should be 11.4 watts right take okay, down make some beats find the surface area of the black body find the surface area of a black body maintained at 400 Kelvin Maintained at 400 Kelvin, radiating heat radiating heat at the rate of at the rate of 1459.2 joules per second. If Stephen's constant is 5.7 into 10 raised to minus 8 SI units, I can say for a black body, heat radiated. Per second for a black body heat radiated per second since this is a black body I don't need to take the uh, coefficient of emission so this would be sigma P4 into A heat radiated per second they haven't said that uh, per, un uh, per unit area so therefore I'm multiplying by area so you have heat radiated is given to you sigma is there, T is there, area now they have asked you to find out the area so you should be able to get the value of A A is going to be nothing but heat upon sigma T4 you should get the answer for this as 1 meter square next, take on next one please energy emitted from an electric furnace energy emitted from an electric furnace is 20 watts energy emitted from an electric furnace is 20 watts when the furnace when the furnace is at 227 degrees celsius when the furnace is at 227 degrees celsius find the area assuming assuming it to be perfectly black If Stephen's constant, 
is 5.7 into 10 raised to minus 8 SI units. If Stephen's constant is 5.7 into 10 raised to minus 8 SI units. Now, same like your previous body, uh, previous sum for a black body, I can say that heat emitted is going to be, since it's a black body, I don't need to take emissivity, so I can therefore say this is sigma T4 into A, right? Now, uh, they've asked you to find out the area, so I can easily find out the area. Heat emitted is given to you as 20. Temperature is given to you. Stephen's constant is given to you. So I can straight away say area is nothing but heat emitted upon sigma T4. Right? You should get your answer as 5.614 into 10 raised to minus 3 meters square. Next, take our next sum please. A metal cube, a metal cube, each side length 1 meter, loses energy at the rate of loses energy at the rate of 3000 watts if the emissivity of the material if the emissivity of the material is 0.4 Find the temperature, find the temperature, if Stephen's constant is 5.7 into 10 raised to minus 8 SI units. energy radiated since this is not a black body this will be emissivity into Stephen's constant into T raised to 4 multiplied by area now since this is a cube surface area of a cube will be nothing but 6 L square so you should be able to get the answer for this we have all the values L I have E sigma and energy radiated so I should be able to get the temperature now I can therefore say that temperature is nothing but energy divided by E sigma 6L square the whole raised to 1 by 4 you should get your value of temperature the value of temperature that you should get here is 384.8 Kelvin next Compare the rate of emission, compare the rate of emission, compare the rate of emission of heat by a black body by a black body maintained. at 727 degrees celsius maintained at 727 degrees celsius and 227 degrees celsius
right? Now, we know that rate of emission is nothing but sigma a t raised to 4, out of which sigma is constant, a is constant, therefore I can say that rate of emission is directly proportional to t raised to 4. Therefore, I could say that R1 upon R2 is nothing but T1 upon T2, the whole raised to 4. T1 is given, T2 is given. You should be able to get the comparison of rate of emission. The answer for this sum should come to 16 is to 1. The ratio is going to be 16 is to 1. Right, next, let's take on the next one, please. Compare, compare the rate of loss of heat, compare the rate of loss of heat from a metal sphere. at 827 degrees Celsius with the rate of loss of heat at 427 degrees Celsius If the temperature of the surrounding, if the temperature of the surrounding is 27 degrees Celsius, now here I could use Stephen's law. By Stephen's law, I can say that rate of loss of heat is nothing but it is directly proportional to the excess temperature of the body over its surrounding to the power of 4. That means this is nothing but T raised to 4 minus T0, the whole raised to 4. Therefore, if I use this formula, I can therefore say that R1 upon R2 is equal to T1 raised to 4 minus T0 raised to 4 upon T2 raised to 4 minus T0 raised to 4. That will enable you to compare the rate of loss of heat of the two bodies. The answer for this should be 6.27 is to 1. Next, let's see the next one guys. Two spheres of the same material two spheres of the same material have radii have radii 5 centimeters and 4 centimeters take that as 3 centimeters and 4 centimeters sorry 3 centimeters and 4 centimeters and their temperatures are and their temperatures are 627 degrees Celsius and 527 degrees Celsius Compare the rate of radiation Assuming both of them are black
Now, rate of radiation for a black body is going to be nothing but sigma a t raised to 4, right? Now, area, area of a black body, they have said that these are spheres. So, this is going to be 4 pi r squared t raised to 4. If I, here therefore I can say that rate is directly proportional to r t raised to 4, r squared t raised to 4. Therefore, I can say that rate 1 upon rate 2 is equal to r1 square upon r2 square into t1 raised to 4 upon t2 raised to 4. Right? Do we get this thing clear? So, the answer for this sum should be uh, 2.503 to 1. Right? Let's see the next sum, guys. A black body, a black body of 1000 degrees Celsius. A black body of 1000 degrees Celsius radiates ten watts per centimeter square. The solar surface radiates ten kilowatts per centimeter square. Estimate the temperature of the sun. Assuming both to be perfectly black. Assuming both of them to be perfectly black. Q is sigma T4, therefore I can say that Q is directly proportional to T4. Therefore, I can say Q1 upon Q2 is nothing but T1 upon T2 or T1 raised to 4 upon T2 raised to 4. So, you could cross multiply and get, you could cross multiply and get this answer. In which case, I can therefore say that T2 raised to 4 is nothing but Q2 upon Q1 into T1 the whole raised to 4. Right? Find the answer and that answer will have to be taken to fourth power. So that will be Q2 upon Q1 into T1 the whole raised to 4, the whole raised to 4th power. You should get this answer. The answer for the sum should be 7159 Kelvin. Right? Okay, we we'll stop this here for the day. Thank you very much.